Hi everyone. So I'll be presenting RMO 2023 problem two solution. It's a nice geo uh, and not hard to spot if you like are willing to define a new point basically. Okay, so let's move on to the solution. So first we'll go over the problem. So you have a circle. Omega, Let, let's just take a circle instead of semicircle. It does not really matter at this point. Uh, the diameter is AB. CD is a chord with a fixed length, which varies over the circle. So let's say the length is X. Uh, you are given a point E such that these two angles are equal. So you have this angle is theta and this angle is theta. Uh, we have to prove that the measure of this angle is constant. Okay. And we also have to prove that this circle CED passes through a fixed point. Uh, so I'll talk a bit about the intuition at first. See, like when, when you are given a fixed point, the point should be nice. Like most cases, it's a nice point. This circle, the blue circle already passes through the two points on the circle omega. And the only other nice thing in the diagram, which you have is AB. So it's likely that this is the fixed point, that this is a nice point. And uh, the fixed point can be like, what's a nice point on AB? Like either it's related to some length of CD, like either related to length BC or midpoint of AB, which is the nice point in this, like midpoint of a diameter, circumcenter. Okay, so it's either of these two things. That, that's just my intuition. Okay, not proving it yet. So let's now go over the solution. So we are given that these two angles are equal. So obvious thing is to like, yeah. So one obvious thing is like, you see that these two angles are equal. So this is like the angle bisector. Basically, AB is external angle bisector of angle CED. So if these two angles are theta, this is 90 minus theta, 90 minus theta. Like this is a perpendicular. Right? And if we uh, include this point O, then we see that this angle is constant. Okay, the motivation behind including O is, we are given that the length CD is constant. And you have to convert it to angle somehow, right? Which means that this angle should be constant. So we have that angle COD is constant. Right? So now you see that like the length CO and DO are equal. So uh, basically O lies on perpendicular bisector of CD and OE is external angle bisector, right? So O is the intersection of a pendulum bisector and an external angle bisector. And it's like, I think, okay, not fact five probably, but like it's well known that then CEOD is cyclic. For a proof of this, see like this, uh, C, so you consider a triangle CDO, CDE, Uh, draw the angle bisector and let it intersect at a point O dash. Then we have to show uh, OC equals to OD. So let this angle to be X. This will be 90 minus X by 2. Since this is cyclic, this will be 90 minus X by 2. And this angle will be 180 minus X plus 90 minus X by 2. Which is 90 minus X by 2. So OC comes out to be equals to OD. So basically O is the point intersection of perpendicular bisector of CD and external angle bisector CED. So you get that COED is cyclic. So which means that uh, angle CED equals to angle COD, which is constant. So the first part is done. Next you have to prove circumcircle of triangle CED passes through a fixed point. See, circumcircle of CED passes through O.
So that is a fixed point, like O is fixed, right? So CED passes through O, that's a fixed point. So yes, we are done with the problem. Okay, this was comparatively an easier problem. So yeah. 